Hey everybody, Dion here. I promised you I would talk about my wax preferences, and here I am, living up to my promises. Okay, first of all, my favorite brand is Sticky Bumps. For me, it's the perfect medium between not too sticky and not too um, slippery. For me, Mrs. Palmer's is always too slippery. It always, it also gives me a rash in warm water, which was weird, I found that out in Barbados. Sex wax is good, but I find the cold too sticky and get all over my wetsuit and the tropical not to go on well enough. And that's just for me. Some people, people who do aerials and things like that really like extra sticky wax. I don't like the way extra sticky wax gets stuck in my knee pads and my wetsuit or my hair, leg hairs if I'm surfing without a wetsuit on, on my legs. So I just find for me, Sticky Bumps has the happy medium and that's why I like Sticky Bumps. So these are the four main Sticky Bumps colors and temperatures. Base coat is the hardest. This is the one that goes on first before you wax any kind of wax job but you can also use tropical as a base coat. The whole idea is that the harder the wax, the less it's going to melt. And if you get a nice coat of base or tropical on there, the softer waxes like cool or cold are going to go on the board easier. They'll just smear if there's no base coat. So that's why you want a base coat of a harder wax. Either regular old base coat or tropical will do. And uh, why would you pick one or the, over the other? Really, you would use tropical if you just didn't have base coat hanging around. So base coat would be ideal for the base coat. You can also use base coat as a tropical wax. It, in places that are really, really hot like Costa Rica, not a bad idea where the wax just melts off your board all of the time. So base coat, that goes on first. You can also use tropical. And this says uh, 64 to 70 degree water. I would actually stay 70s and above with this. 60s is pretty cold, so what you get, uh, oop, gotta pause. What happens is if your wax is too hard in too cold a water, you just slide off the board and that can cause injury. So actually, there is a safety issue with having wax that's not soft enough in colder water. Um, cool wax is for the 60s. I would say 60 degree water temps, that you want this cool wax, not too sticky, uh, not, too, not too sticky and not too hard. This is, you want 60 degree water, 70 and above. Again, this is a base coat. And then once it's in the 50s and below and pretty much everything below, you want a cold water wax. This is the stickiest, the softest, less likely to melt, but I'll give you a little bit of a tip. In the winter, if you live somewhere like I don't know, even California, New York, Portugal, where it might get really cold at night, don't leave this in your car. It's gonna freeze. So you may wanna have a little wax stash inside your house so that, yeah, you're not trying to put an ice brick on your surfboard. That's my wax preferences. Sticky bumps, not sponsored by them, but I love them. Um, and you're gonna have to find what's right for you. I think this is a good medium bet though. And yeah, just to recap, base coat, Warm tropical wax, 70 degree water and over. Cool wax in the 60 degree temperature ranges. And cold water wax for 50 degree temperature ranges and below. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. Love you forever if you like and subscribe. Watch my other videos, that's really cool. If you wanna know more about coaching and all things that I do, just go over to my website. Everything lives there. Archives of these videos live there. Get over there.